In tonight's It's the Law, attorney Jay Davis is explaining how to protect yourself against some of the most common scams popping up in today's economy. Welcome back, Jay. Thanks for being Thanks, here. Thanks, Great to be here. Now, if we get scammed, do we even have any options as far as uh, taking some legal action? You always have the option of legal action if you can find the person who scammed you. Oh, okay. A lot of scams going on today, sending emails out, getting you to mail money somewhere else. You're probably going to have your money lost unless you can do that paper trail. Sometimes that's more expensive than the money you lost. Sure, but if you can find them, good to know because I think there's scams across the board that we hear about here in Middle Georgia, across the state. So if you find that person, you can take some action. Good to know. Well, we're going to talk about some of the common questions people ask you in regards to some of the financial scams. Now, what should we look for if we're interested in debt consolidation, Jay? Debt consolidation, you look at what you need. Um, bank, sometimes people do it in lieu of a bankruptcy. They don't want a bankruptcy on their record, so they think they're going to try a debt consolidation. But a debt consolidation is not mandatory on your creditors, which means you might be in a debt consolidation program. Most of them are very heavy at the front. You pay a lot of money in. That goes to the people who are handling the debt program for you, not to your creditors. Hmm. So sometimes people are in it for a year, and then they're forced into bankruptcy by another creditor deciding to sue. Okay, speaking of creditors, what are you supposed to do if your creditors are suing you? Well, the one way, if they're suing you, then you can go and defend it. If you think you've got a defense against them, or you can negotiate. That's what a um, debt consolidation is designed to do, to get your money kind of consolidated, and then offer them less money than what they are actually owed. Right. Or you can file a bankruptcy. Oh, okay. Of course, that's always an option. That's always an well, option. Well, how do we protect our mortgage? The mortgage, there's a lot of scams going on right now. Um, what are some of the, any big ones that you've been seeing? We've been seeing a lot on the mortgage um uh, redoing your mortgage, restructuring your okay. mortgage, and the mortgage mortgage lenders are obligated to do that. But that doesn't mean they want to because they're often offered bigger incentives from the government protections by not doing that. Okay. So a lot of times people are sending in their items to try to get a, a mortgage um, remodification of, of the mortgage or a modification of the mortgage, and the people are saying they didn't get it. The mortgage companies are going, hey, send us in something else, send us in another thing. That's they're so tricky because a lot of times, too, it looks very legit. It looks official, so it's confusing. So I guess bottom line is what do we do to protect ourselves? If you're situation? having that problem, then you might need to speak to an attorney. If you're if you're sending things in to get a modification and they're, they're saying they didn't have something and you show, keep records of what you actually sent in, when you sent it in, so that you can show what they're doing, and that will help a lot if it does get to a lawsuit. Do you see as the economy goes up and down and all around, do you see that there really are more and more of these financial scams happening? They're popping up everywhere. Every type, every government program that's designed to help the consumer is going to be misused against the consumer and you can guarantee that. Well I guess in the bottom line since there's so many different scams we can't just touch on one or two here. What should people know as far as when it's time to take legal action and if it's really necessary? Well if you're if you've gotten yourself or some scam has gotten you in place where you've lost and mm -hmm. you don't have any way to recover on your own then you probably need to take legal action or at least a, a talk with an attorney and see if you have any. If that person who, who did a scam on you or who mistreated you in a way that's unethical or inappropriate or illegal, mm -hmm. then you need to begin the suit against them. If they're not, if you're not able to locate them, then you might be out of luck. All right, let's get to our viewer question from Wendy. I have worked for the University System of Georgia for just about 20 years. Recently, our department hired a new supervisor who has ordered a time clock for some of us to punch in and out on. Our new department head does not trust us and has alleged that some of us are stealing time. Some of us feel humiliated, harassed, intimidated, and bullied by our new department head. So what is our course of action when we have head, when have, head when we have heard the department head did not get this cleared with anyone in administration? Got a lot going on there. A lot going on there. <laughs> yeah, bottom line, how can we help Wendy? The, the bottom line is first you got to look at why are they being humiliated? What, why are they feeling that way? Because they have to keep their time now? That's probably not going to be an issue. If this new employee, new supervisor is creating things that creates a hostile work environment, then you might have that. If it's going against company policy, which is the last portion of our statement, mm -hmm. if it's going against the company policy, they need to go to that over that person's head and discuss the company policy with whatever normally a company will have the rules and procedure on how you handle something that's handled that way. And they might not have to do it if it's not implemented correctly. All right, sounds good, Jay. Thanks so much. Thank we you. appreciate it. And if you have a legal question, send us an email to itsthelaw at 41mbc.com.